Here we're gonna look at a solution to a nice geometry problem that I came up with. So the setup is that we have an equilateral triangle with side length one, and then we have these three squares inside the equilateral triangle. So this one has length A, and one of the vertices is on the side of the equilateral triangle. The other side is completely contained in the side of the equilateral triangle. Next to that, we've got one of length 2A, side length 2A. And then next to that, we've got one of side length 3A. And then again, this vertex is intersecting the side of the equilateral triangle. And what we want to do is find A. So let's see what we can cook up. So I want to notice that since these guys are squares, we know that this side is also length A, and this side down here is also length A. Furthermore, this is length 2A, this thing down here is length 2A, this is length 3A, and this thing down here is also length 3A. Next, I want to notice that if I set this length down here equal to X, then I have some sort of relationship between A and X, given that I know that this angle measure is 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. So let's recall up here that tangent of pi over three, so that's gonna be opposite over adjacent, so that's gonna be A divided by X. Great. But we know that the tangent of pi over three is equal to the square root of three, so that tells us that A equals the square root of three X or that X equals A divided by the square root of three. Okay, so now we've got X in terms of A, which is good to know. And then furthermore, by the angle, angle, angle theorem, we know that this triangle over here and this little triangle over here are similar. So we know that they both have right angles here. And then next, we know that this is also going to be 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians, which means that this angle and this angle are the same. And so like I said, by angle, 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 these are similar triangles. That means the ratio of their sides are the same. So this side is three times the length of this side, 3A versus A. That means this down here has length 3X. Good. So now let's put this together. We know the side length totally of the bottom will be equal to one, but that's also equal to three X plus X plus A plus two A plus three A. So let's maybe also notice that we have three X plus X plus A plus two A plus three A is equal to one, because that's comprising the entire side of this equilateral triangle with side length one. But now notice we can combine like terms here and we get four X plus six A equals one. Next, we have a value of X in terms of A from this trigonometric relationship that we talked about. So we can input that into our equation down here. We're gonna have four A over the square root of three plus 6a equals 1. Let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator here so we can do that by multiplying this by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. So that's going to give us 4 times the square root of 3a over 3 plus 6a equals 1. So let's maybe give this a common denominator of 3 so we can rewrite 6 as 18 over 3. Then next, we can factor an A out of the left-hand side. That's going to give us A times the quantity, 4 root 3 plus 18 over 3 equals 1. Great. So we can multiply by the reciprocal of this number, and we get A equals 3 over 4 times the square root of 3 plus 18. And then next, perhaps we'd want to rationalize the denominator, although in my mind, that's not strictly necessary. But you could do that by multiplying this thing by 4 times root 3 minus 18 and 4 times root 3 minus 18. So let's see what that gives us. That's going to finally give us A is equal to, so this is going to be 12 
times root three minus three times 18. So let's see what that is. So three times 18 is gonna be 54 over, now we're gonna have four root three times four root three, so that's gonna be 16 times three. So 16 times three is 48 minus 18 squared, and 18 squared is 324, so 324. So next, maybe we'll simplify this by changing the order of the numerator and the denominator. So I'm gonna write this as a equals, so 54 minus 12 root three, over, well, what's 324 minus 48? So that is going to be equal to, so minus 124 will get us down to 300, and then minus another one, that'll give us get us down to 276. So now we can divide a six out of the numerator and the denominator, and that's gonna give us a equals nine minus two root three over 46. And that is maybe the nicest description of this number. And so that's our final answer. And that's a good place to stop.